you know, how have you used your successes from not just being shortlisted for the Ashurst Prize, but you've had you've had quite a few successes and and a, and a major win as well. How have you used those successes to grow your career? Um, there's there's kind of two sides of it. Again, be aware of what you're entering. Do you actually want success? It's also something to really bear in mind. Um, I so I'd won a few prizes before the BP. Um, which were smaller prizes. And I think there was always this idea that it was going to be more than it was. So I had higher expectations. Then it happens and then life just goes on. So that was quite depressing. So you have to be aware of that. Then the BP happened, which I really wasn't expecting at all. And what came from that and my mental health took an extreme battering because of that. I wasn't physically or mentally in a good place. And everything that came from that, I found very difficult in it really set me back. It basically stopped me painting for about four months, which is ironic as hell. Um, and I'm now only reaching a point where I feel like I'm able to actually benefit from it because I feel physically and mentally strong enough to do it. And I've had some distance from it. And, you know, it's lovely what it bought my friends and family. But for me at the time, I found it actually quite crippling. So really be aware of what you're actually getting into as well, or at least just be realistic. I was romanticizing and that is a dangerous thing to do because life never lives up to that romantic ideal so that's the first thing i'd say is actually understand what is going to happen the fact that life does not change winning prizes does not change life whatsoever it just hopefully allows you to meet more people so it's just about the fact that it may get your work seen by some other people but you still have to then go meet those people you know things aren't just going to change overnight you don't just win a prize and then suddenly you know all your work sold and you're really happy not what? That doesn't work. That's not how life works. It's just about the fact that it will allow you to meet some more people. Then you do the same thing that we were saying before, which is you then go and meet those people. So that's kind of the thing that I learned from that. It has since then been easier to sell some works. Hilarious that you were saying about the PDF because people did then start asking for a price list and I had to frantically <laughs> create this thing, which I now have. So it's fine because I can now send it out to people. Um, but yes, yeah, so the main thing is not again to have this romantic Saatchi idea where you think that your life is going to change because something from the outside is going to come and change it. You always have to be the person to change it. Hopefully experiences like this can just open the door in different ways that were unable to be opened before, but you still have to go through that door and you still have to make those connections and actually do the work. Work doesn't stop, you know, life doesn't stop. And that's the main thing you've got to remember.